Woo, woo, hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trading Signals coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and much, much more about crypto. And some people are saying we could see a huge Dogecoin explosion. We could see Dogecoin going up 66% in a very short period of time. So that is freaking awesome. Hopefully that will happen. And it looks like, uh, you know, crypto's not doing too bad, but we're seeing that the total sentiment for crypto is also looking pretty good right now, guys. So let's jump into the content without any further delay. Guys, don't forget to go down there, smash freaking likes. It looks like that. And remember, now this is financial advice, just an OG in the house express my opinion. I'm not a freaking licensed financial advisor, so you know that right now, guys. So it's a great time to be alive. So what are we looking at right now? We're seeing that the pre-markets right now are looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, looks like Slow Joe is out of the race. So it looks like, uh, yeah, who's going to be the next running mate? It looks like uh, it looks like uh, the, this this woman here could be the new the new one. But I don't think anyone's going to support her. Uh, yeah, that's my opinion. Uh, we got uh, Fed Chair Powell speaks today as well. Let's see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't uh, tangity tang the markets, guys. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, and I think when the the stock market opens, I think. The uh, you know the slow Joe pulling out of the race could be a good thing, guys. So look at the crypto bubbles right now. We're seeing overall uh, crypto right now is kind of mixed. We're seeing uh, whiff is up, but we're seeing overall some of the uh, cryptos are going down. It's it's to, it's normal. People are just taking profits out there, so that is not too shabby out there. Uh, we're seeing right now that overall. Let me get my Puna out of the out of the way. Let me get Puna out of the way. We're seeing that overall Bitcoin is still up slightly. We're seeing that uh, Solana is up. Ethereum is down right now, but it's kind of neutral out there, so it's okay. It looks like crypto is taking a little bit of a breather. If you take a look at the total market cap right now, uh, we'll see that the total market cap for crypto is right now still up almost uh, over half percent. That's pretty good. We're seeing that Bitcoin is still up 67,200, and that's up 6.63%. 6.3 percent uh 3.8 percent for ethereum on the weekly we're seeing bnb is up uh, solana is up a whopping six fifteen point six five percent we're seeing xrp is up as well and doji woozer your doge is doing pretty good it's outperforming a lot of the other crypto we're seeing that the small market cap is just below 20 billion and uh it looks like uh yeah we're kicking 10 coin in the butt 10 coins having not a good week out there uh fear and greed wise we're seeing that fear and greed right now we're in 70 that is pretty good. We were, we were 74 yesterday. We pulled back a little bit. That's pretty normal. Profit taking is happening right now. Uh, in terms of uh, ETF flows, in terms of Bitcoin, we're seeing positive territory up almost 5,000 Bitcoin. That is pretty good. That's another thing that's fueling the fire and sending Bitcoin higher and higher uh, out there. We're seeing that uh, right now $72, $72 billion worth of uh, Bitcoin uh, belongs to the ETFs, and that's over 5%. So that's growing day by day, guys. So not too, not too bad, not too bad. We're seeing right now that total liquidations in the last 24 hours we're seeing that basically it's mixed get ready maybe some hunter wicks happening in midweek out there so uh, the total amount of Bitcoin in profit is about 7.8 percent so July is looking pretty good as well exchange balance right now let me load this up we're still seeing that the exchange balance is going down DD, DD down down that is good for uh, Bitcoin that is good for crypto out there let's see what's going on it looks like uh, the immediate goal right now for uh, Bitcoin according to Titan of uh, crypto is we can see an intermediate target of 85,000 these are the key EMA levels uh, we did have a nice bounce off there this is a level to watch I think we could see a breakout he's looking at maybe uh, you know August time frames for a huge breakout out there guys so looks like he's also talking about this bull pennant is formed here uh, and uh, this is a typical breakout after the uh, bull flag on the daily chart and uh, both chart patterns indicating a higher momentum in uptrend at the current uh, cycle guys so uh, yeah we can see more positiveness for more positiveness for uh, crypto more positiveness for a Bitcoin and if Bitcoin goes up then the doozer woozer woozer goes up guys okay, smash the likes up kiss splash there's going one 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 guys it's a great time to be alive. And it looks like Kevin. Kevin is talking about uh, 100,000 uh, Bitcoin. Next weekly impulse up could put BTC at $100,000. So often we have these impulses. We have a breakout impulse, the upside, sideways consolidation. Then we have another impulse. Then we have sideways consolidation. So we've seen this cycle. We've seen our impulse, okay? And we've seen some sideways consolidation. We had an impulse that went over $70,000. Then we had, you know, some upside downside. Then we had a sideways consolidation. And I believe we're going to see a next freaking impulse to the upside, guys. And it's just a matter of time. Titty, titty, time, time. Uh, if you take a look at what's going on for Bitcoin. 
So if we look at if we look at Bitcoin right now, we see that Bitcoin is is, is retraced a little bit, uh, not too much out there. It's down a little bit, and we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is at sixty seven thousand uh, out there. We may retrace a little bit, uh, you know, but I believe that uh, our big resistance right now is at sixty nine thousand. I still believe that eighty eight hundred thousand is definitely definitely doable. I believe it. And guys, don't forget we got we got this guy. We got this guy here. He's gonna absolutely help make crypto go up. He's gonna. He's going to be the best press for crypto, and you know it's going to be boom chaka like a time. And guys, breaking news, looks like Elon Musk turns on bullish on Bitcoin, changes the profile picture to laser eyes. And this is not only bullish for crypto, it's bullish for Dogecoin, it's bullish for everything, guys. And if you take a look at what's going on uh, right now with Ethereum, Ethereum has also gone down a little bit, retraced a little bit. We do have some huge resistance at 36 36.52. I believe we're going to get past there, guys. Just a matter of time. And guys, if you take your privacy seriously and you love your privacy, get a Nano Ledger, guys. It is the smartest way to secure your crypto. Go down there and check out the link, guys. Don't forget to do that. And guys, don't forget to smash the likes and share share this video, guys. If you take a look at what's going on with the Do's Your Warrior right now. Do's Your Warrior right now. Uh, it it did go it did go past. Uh, 14 cents gets it did hit some rejection and once again we've been rejected uh, a lot of times at this area uh yeah, I, I, I still think, I still believe that we can see 20 cents coming in for Dogecoin. We're still above the EMA ribbons on the daily, so that is pretty positive out there. Pretty freaking positive. We're seeing that right now, the Dogecoin, right now, the Dogecoin right now is trading. Let me just give this a minty refresh. Minty refresh. We are seeing that Dogecoin right now is trading at 13.7. It's still up 4.55% for the day, even though Bitcoin and other cryptos going down. We're still looking pretty good, guys. And right now, we're seeing some analysts are saying that Dogecoin could see a 60 six percent pump coming uh, soon and we're seeing that overall the social sentiment for dogecoin is looking pretty good that is positive we're seeing that the MBR value is also looking pretty good so overall we could see that we could see a huge breakout for dogecoin coming pretty soon and that would be cool beans out there guys i think that 22 cents 23 cents is definitely incoming we could see ourselves getting up to this uh 0.91 fibonacci level that would be cool beans in the house absolutely hey, if you take if you take a look at the mean coin right now the mean coin market cap is also up 3.13 percent lovely jubbly out there so that is pretty pretty good out there uh, if you take a look at what's going on with dogecoin two dollar possible if you take a look at this uh, upward trend line we have this descending triangle here we could see a breakout to previous cycle highs and that could take us above two dollars and 13 cents so not too shabby and look dogecoin is going to outperform ethereum and solana over the coming months i believe that and i believe that if we get the uh, if we do get the ETFs coming out for Ethereum. This will also help propel Dogecoin higher and higher, guys, out there. So looking pretty good. I did talk about this Dogecoin retest almost done, and we did break out, we did retest, and I'm still expecting a violent move coming very, very soon, guys. And once again, post having rally is brewing. Dogecoin is about to explode, guys. So this is a great time to be live, guys. Go follow me on my Twitter. I appreciate it, guys. Much love. I'll see you in the freaking next one. Peace out.